edition of our Community Affairs Show here at Radio One DC stations. I'm your host, your news and community affairs director, Ebony McMorris. And what's here is July 4th, which is the day that we talk about food a lot. So today we're going to be all things food in Prince George's County, and I've got a, I'm going to call him my master chef here in the house, <laughs> <laughs> Chef Cole Whaley. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff that you're going to be interested in uh, that we're going to talk about. One is the um, his restaurant, Cat Day Room, which is located in Beltsville, Maryland. Um, and also the Mason Dixon Master Chef Competition that he's going to be um, in one of the teams of Prince George's County represented there. And I also want to talk about the culture of food in Prince George's County, uh, what we're seeing in D.C. and how we're now seeing that micro to go south. Uh, and he's going to give us some recipes. <laughs> so you might want to write some things down, but I'll go ahead and introduce him. Chef Cole Whaley, how are you this morning? Doing well, doing well. Appreciate you having us today. Absolutely. So what you guys don't know, like we talked for like a full hour before this entire <laughs> interview. So I'm hungry right now. You might hear my stomach growling, but this brother is official. Thorough. I love him. Your experiences are amazing. So I want our audience to really understand who you are. Um, and what you represent. So, um, Cafe Root in Beltsville, how long um, is that your restaurant? Years. Two and a half years. Yes. Wow. And this is a young brother. So, that's why I also love this because um, you're an entrepreneur yeah. and your experiences are amazing. So, what's your background? Uh, from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I grew up, went to college in Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland State, go Vikings. Uh, worked out of college in sort of IT sales, account management on the West Coast, uh, Phoenix, Seattle, and uh, moved here to the D.C. region and decided to do something different. Went to culinary school and uh, started a food truck and, and sort of just went in my own place and I uh, opened up Cafe Rue. So we got the food truck, mm -hmm. uh, now the Cafe Rue. Why D.C. though? So I know like D.C. has become this big, well, the restaurant is in Prince George's County, mm -hmm. but now this big foodie town. Usually sure. we're, we see like Chicago or New York mm -hmm. or places like that, and so it's expanding, but you chose to open your restaurant in Prince George's County. Right, right. So why there? Because we don't really see a lot of restaurants there that, right. you know, that fit that mold. That, that's exactly why, because I felt like there was a need for uh, more restaurants, more uh, independent restaurants, not just chains. Um, more casual dining, not just carry out places. And uh, I felt like there was a underserved market there. I felt like when you go into the district, you when you talk to customers at some of these restaurants or lounges, you ask them where they're from, um, oftentimes they're from Prince George's County or surrounding areas. So I felt like, you know, why not just go to their backyard and, you know, create a space where there's parking available, uh, where the service is just as good, the food is just as good, and keep some of those, you know, uh, dollars right here in the county. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure Prince George's, Prince George's County Economic Development Corporation will yeah. love that. We just had the yeah, new Jason director. Yeah, Jason would like that. <laughs> <laughs> we, right. Jason is great. And the new director, Mr. Coleman, was just exactly. talking about that, um, making it a destination spot. And so um, bringing a restaurant like that is is wonderful. What kind of... Um, is it like American food? So is comfort it? food, American comfort food. Okay. Um, big focus on all things comfort. Chicken and waffles is sort of a signature dish for us. We're doing lobster mac and cheese. We're doing crab Ooh. cakes. You know, since we're in Maryland, right? Um, but, you know, we do a lot of specials and things like that, too. We try to focus on a lot of farm to table. Uh, do a lot of things with Brussels sprouts and kale and, you know, mixed field greens. We're just trying to, you know, cauliflower dishes. I mean, really? it's a mix of sort of really comfort style food, mm -hmm. um, but offering a healthier twist on it. Well. How does it represent you like in your travels? Because we were talking about yeah. you've got a really diverse background. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I've lived in a, in, in a few places, and uh, I'd say Cafe Rue is just a combination of all those experiences. I mean, the seafood that's reflective on the menu comes from my experiences in the Pacific Northwest, and you know, or my travels to Alaska, and eating wow. my crab legs, you know, that literally just came out of the water. Um, or just, you know, Copper River salmon, things like that. So growing up, you know, Atlantic salmon was like a big deal. If we went on that Atlantic salmon, that was like, you know, you right. see all A's, 4.0 in your report card. And then I went to Seattle, and it's like, so, you know, Atlantic salmon's cool, but, you know, we're into like the species and what river it came out of. Right. So I try to bring that experience, you know, to Cafe Rue. Um, the chicken and waffles is reflective of my travels to chicken LA. Chicken and waffles. Yeah, right, Roscoe's chicken and waffles. I mean, <laughs> that's a thing. And when I started my food truck, and I was thinking about a menu option that I wanted to really focus on, um, 
chicken and waffles just seemed like a great fit because when I when I came to the area, um, you saw chicken and waffles on like brunch menus. Right. Um, but it was basically what I call a classic chicken and waffles, a, a regular style Belgian waffle, fried chicken of some sort. And what I did was wanted to make it a thing. So I have sweet sriracha glazed chicken and waffles, red velvet chicken and waffles. What? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, I'm just going to give you your accolades because <laughs> Yahoo um, picked your restaurant. Or was it the Dish for Chicken and Waffles? Oh, Waffles. Yeah, they it was International Waffle, Waffle Day. Yeah. International Waffle Day and um, chose your waffles as like one of the top ten to yeah. have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, um, you know, very grateful for that. And, um, yeah, again, we just tried to make it a thing, right? We tried to make chicken and waffles something that was more than just a basic what you can get at either IHOP or at the Ritz Carlton, but right. we create a menu. I mean, I probably have nine different styles of chicken and waffles that I'm regularly rotating in oh my, my menu. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's kind of our thing, you know, American style comfort food. Um, you know, and whenever I'm traveling, I'm always picking up ideas. You know, if I'm down in North Carolina or Alabama or something, I'm just thinking about how can I exactly. So we do a, uh, you know, last year uh, around the summertime, we were doing a barbecue chicken and waffle, so grilled chicken on a waffle for those who didn't want, you know, the fried chicken. Mm. So, you know, I'm always trying to think. The healthier options. Yeah, the healthier options, what my clientele wants and what they want to see on the menu. And I try to, you know, respond to that. You know, I'm in the restaurant cooking. I'm taking orders. So, you know, oftentimes you come in, you'll see me, you know. um, So I create these conversations um, with customers and then try to, you know, be reflective of that on the menu. So let's talk about this um, MasterChef competition.